Hi, and welcome back to MRTV. I'm here at AWE 2022 in Lisbon with Oliver Verla. And hi. Pleasure How to meet you. Thanks. Very yeah. good. Very good. It was a long day and a super interesting day with a perfect right. start. Great. Yeah. So you are um, working on the enterprise business of um, Pico. And today you have told us you have introduced the Pico 4 Enterprise. Exactly. Right. So we had the pleasure today. <laughs> let's, let's, yeah, show let's show it. Let's show it. Let's show it. The Pico 4 Enterprise is our latest news product for enterprise use cases. We have now the Pico 4 Enterprise today to change a little bit the world in VR. For some weeks, we have, as you know, announced the Pico 4 consumer version. Which I like very much. <laughs> I hope so. And this do, version will use, of course, the same lenses, but also the same front camera, but it has some other specialties. Okay, so first of all, it looks a bit different, and it's like super nice, shiny um, in the front. Actually, I must tell you, I, I like this a lot. So, but this is not the most important thing. So the most important thing is this has eye tracking and face tracking, right? Exactly. We have two sensors. Let me show you the sensors. So we have here these sensors for uh, lip tracking, and here we have on the side these eye, tra eye tracking sensors. And eye tracking sensors is a, a, a completely game changer, of course, for VR. We believe this will give you a lot of more possibilities, for example, to work in collaboration. If you can see if someone is looking at on you, at you, this is really something different. And also, you can use this eye tracking for automatic IPD. Especially in the enterprise world, you are changing from one person to the other person really click the, really quick the headset. And now you have the possibility that or you, there's no need anymore to do a manual IPD correction. It will be automatically. And face tracking is also an, a nice one that you can see how someone is reacting on you in a collaboration tool. Nonverbal communication will be more and more important in VR, especially when we are starting to do more and more demos and collaboration. Okay, so um, this device um, is going to cost $899. Did I get that correctly from your representation? Yeah, it's Euro, 899 ah, Euro. Okay, good. <laughs> and uh, pre-order will start in the first week of November. And we think that we can send out the first devices in December, latest beginning of January. Okay, so Pico was active in the, con in the business space actually for quite a long time. Just recently, you came back to consumer world. So... I believe you have lots of connections from that time when you were just um, business only. And um, tell us about what kind of companies use Pico headsets right now. So there are a lot of companies outside. Uh, so we are working since two and a half years only in the enterprise world. So all of our customers are working in the enterprise field. Consumer is a new field for us. And we decided to cut Pico, let me say, in two pieces in Europe. So there is one team that is now responsible for enterprise and one team for consumer. And I'm looking after the, um, consu uh, the enterprise yeah. world and, yeah, and, and, and Ross, my colleague, right. is doing the consumer world. And mm -hmm. it's really important that you support with a local team, with um, a local sales team, a local support team that is only working for enterprise, your enterprise customers. We believe it's not good to mix teams here, to mix ideas here. So we have dedicated to have really separate teams. Okay, so this headset also has the, the same color pass through for the from the Pico Four. Is it the same? It's the same. It's yeah. the same. So, but but still, this is more of a VR headset, right? This is not meant to do mixed reality things. Or uh, what do you think? Is this more of a VR headset than an AR headset? So the, the target group for this is definitely the VR group. The, for trainings, collaboration. Right. We are targeting this group. We see the most demand here in this group. We really, really believe next year will be a, a, a game changer in the enterprise world, especially with this new form factor and yeah. these new technologies that are integrated. And this, this, this will, uh, it's a new way how customers will accept, so end, enterprise customers will accept this headset for a daily use. And we believe now we are doing a big step for a lot of projects to a real rollout. Okay, so um, it has eye tracking and I, I'm wondering, uh, you, most of your customers, do they want eye tracking? Is that something that's important for them? Difficult to say, it's a chicken egg thing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, we, we really believe that an, an, an uh, eye tracking can solve this problem with IPD, of course. So you have right. the, the, the easiest way to start with the best experience without doing anything manual. Secondly, for a collaboration tool, eye tracking is 
a, a, a changer in how you have how you get a real presence and this is super important and with eye tracking of course you can do in the future much more yeah right so i'm wondering for the face tracking is there already some software that is using it is it like the pickle worlds that we heard about is that using already face tracking i know that's not for enterprise actually right that's more like a consumer <laughs> question but um yeah is it already being used or do you already have some some apps that could show this off at the moment not but we are inviting every developer here on the awe this is the reason why we are here to join yeah. us to speak with us to ask for the first dev kits right. to work together on this and i'm really sh i'm pretty sure that we will see the first collaboration tools shortly that are using this technology okay because actually um i get lots of emails from consumers who want to have this yeah of course. Yeah. yeah they want they want to have face tracking for their vr chats and for all these things so probably I have the feeling this will make it to consumers probably in the next generation or what. Yeah, but that's my assumption. So I'm um, wondering, um, 899 euros um, for uh, for the enterprise um, world, that is actually a very competitive price when your, um, your direct competitors are quite like uh, more expensive, right? Like 1,400 for the Focus, three from HEC and um, yeah, 1,800 euros here in Europe for the Quest Pro. Um, who is your direct competitor in your opinion? So we have a really good product range. With this product, we are not stopping, for example, to produce the Neo 3 Pro and the Neo 3 Pro i. And this product will oh, wow. perfect for us in, in the middle of both products. The Neo 3 Pro i has a fantastic price of around 600 euro. Oh, it's even cheaper than this. Uh, exactly, and it will offer also additional features and then we have this new fantastic product, the Pico 4 Enterprise okay. for 899. And we have also the Tobi i version of the Neo 3 Pro with okay. the Tobi i eye tracking included because a lot of medical companies are asking for this. So we have not only one product, the, comp the customer can choose next year between three products that we can offer them. All right. So you don't have competitors, it seems. <laughs> I, was, I was just asking you about the competitors. But uh, yeah, you're competing against your own products internally, <laughs> which is even better. <laughs> okay, so we know about the hardware. It's uh, very well priced, for, especially for business. Um, the question always is, like, what kind of um, software is running on it? Do you have some enterprise software on this already? What is your um, enterprise um, software stack? Yeah. As explained, we, we really believe it's super important to have a clear separation of the enterprise business and the consumer business. And that means on the Pico 4 Enterprise, there's a pure enterprise software on it. This gives you direct access to the most things that you need as a developer on a deep level. And we have also, um, let me say, super power for the developer included. That means the most used comments are pre-configurated. Mm -hmm. So this saves a lot of time and, and resources from the developer because a lot, of, a lot of developers asking the same questions and we have done this pre-configuration that you can use and start directly. And we will also integrate, integ integrate an enterprise app store. This enterprise app store shows then only enterprise apps and this gives a lot of possibilities for, on the one hand for, for developers to show the app that they have for other enterprise use cases and also the possibility to have a closed group. And we are also offering in the future a private app store. That means if you are a, a company and you want to show your apps only to a separated group in the company, then you can integrate a private app store so that no one else can see your own apps. And these are always business needs outside and we are hearing them and we are looking forward to work with them. Okay, great. So um, how about if a business needs to order like 500 or 1000 pieces and they have to like update all the software for all these numbers of headsets? Is it like, um, can it work like centrally? Or how would you like um, work to get work with all these hundreds of headsets? Yeah, so 500 headsets on the table is for an administrator, a super nightmare. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was thinking, <laughs> yeah. like, okay, how do we and, do that? And uh, we are offering an open solution. So we are working with around 10 mobile device management partners together, like uh, Zoti, Mobile Iron, VMware, 42 Gears, Cotado, Arbor XR. And all of them are can all of them can manage our headsets. And with that, it's a super easy to have the full control of your heads wherever they are in the world there's no other way to do this but if you're working in a local environment so in your own network in your company then we have a nice business suite software this is also new 
With this business suite software, you have the full control of your headsets in your direct environment. doesn't matter if you have 10, 20, or 50, or 100 headsets or more. You have the full control. You can say these 10 headsets get this content, the other 10 headsets this content. You can bring them into a kiosk mode. You can do broadcasting, live streaming. Mm -hmm. You can change the home environment. So a lot of things. And the best thing is this, has, this software is for free. Okay, that sounds good. Um, when, when businesses buy these headsets for 899 euros, um, do they then have to go into like a monthly um, subscription model or can they do anything they want with it? So this headset includes, the price includes everything. There's no okay. additional licensing okay, agreement that you need. This is our idea of to make or to keep in, 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 in business simple, easy and fast. You buy a headset and you have all possibilities as a developer to scale your business in a very easy way. Okay, that, that is actually fantastic. Cool. So, um, yeah, thanks for telling me all about the Pickle 4 Enterprise. I believe this is a very interesting headset for, yeah, for, for enterprises, obviously, and um, great price point. And I checked it out. I, I like it. <laughs> so, so, thanks so much for your time. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye. Yep, hope you enjoyed this interview with Oliver Wöhler. And of course, if you have any questions, you can write them in the, in the comments. And of course, you can also connect with Oliver on LinkedIn or what's the yeah, best way to... LinkedIn is the best way. Okay, exactly. so Oliver Wöhler, I'm going to put his LinkedIn down in the description of this video. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and looking forward to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.